Welcome, I'm Jeff with Fast How To. In today's quick video, I'm gonna show you how to update Home Assistant. Let's get to it. Since this Home Assistant server is a virtual machine, I've already taken a snapshot of it, so I can easily restore later if something goes wrong. We're gonna go over to settings on the left, and you'll see that there's one update available Home Assistant Core 2024.4.1. We'll just click that. And since I've already taken a snapshot, I don't need a backup. So I'll just go ahead and click install. Home Assistant reboots all by itself after the upgrade is complete. And there we go. All of our integrations work. Our dashboard's still there. And if we go and check under about, you can see that now we're running a new version. So the update process is super easy and fast. So what are some of the things that you should watch out for when you upgrade your system? Integrations are the biggest one, whether they be from hacks or built-in integrations, sometimes you'll have issues with them. Things will change in the code and older stuff is no longer supported. There was recently an issue with Unify equipment. Uh, so just make sure to check the release notes before you actually do the upgrade. Ideally, you'll be running Home Assistant in a VM so you can just snapshot it beforehand. Otherwise, make sure that you've got a backup because you might need to restore from that later if things don't go the way that you want them to go. If you've enjoyed today's video, please consider becoming a patron over on patreon.com. Patrons have access to all sorts of exclusive benefits, including early access to ad-free videos, downloadable code from all my videos, periodic copies of my automation, dashboard, and configuration YAML files, and much, much more. Benefits start at just three bucks a month. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope I was able to teach you how to upgrade Home Assistant. Thanks for watching and until next time, go automate something, will ya?